Hello, my name is Jeremy Blum, and today I'll be doing a case review for UltimateComputers.net. We're taking a look at the Black PC A05N Lian Li Aluminum Mini Tower PC case. This case features an all black brushed aluminum design, and it measures 8.25 inches wide, 14.75 inches tall, and 19.25 inches long, so it's a very small form factor case. This case features two five and a quarter inch drive bays and one three and a half inch drive bay. There's also a large power button, a smaller reset button, a power indicator light, a hard drive indicator LED, and a Lian Li logo at the bottom of the case. The top of this case features a flip up IO shield with two USB 2.0 ports, a headphone jack, and a microphone jack. Lian Li sells a replacement top piece for this case which includes a cutout for a 140mm fan at the rear to add extra exhaust for the inside of the case. However, at the time of this review it was unavailable online and the price of approximately $40 seemed unreasonable considering the $85 price tag on the entire case. For this reason we're going to modify the top of this case on our own and add a 120mm fan at the top of the case. The back of the case features ventilation up at the top seven ventilated PCI slot covers, ventilation for an optional blower fan, a 120 millimeter intake fan with an included grill and anti-vibration grommets, a place for an IO shield plate, and an AC power extender for the power supply which gets mounted in the front of this case. There's also additional ventilation down at the bottom. Removing the left side of this case, will expose the rear of the motherboard tray. Because of the small form factor of this case, there is not a whole lot of room for routing cables behind the motherboard. There's a little bit of room here, but definitely not for a 24-pin ATX motherboard cable. Maybe for a few SATA cables at best. You can also see here that there's a little bit of ventilation because the back plates on LGA775 coolers and up exhaust some heat from the back of the motherboard. Removing the right side panel of this case gives you access to the inside. Like many of Lian Li's cases, it features an inverted ATX design, meaning you open the right side of the case instead of the left, and the motherboard gets mounted upside down. This gives you a lot of room to work with for a video card, full size, a full size power supply, and a full size ATX motherboard, despite the small size of this case. If we look at the front of the case, you can see the two five and a quarter inch external drive bays that I mentioned previously as well as an external 3.5 inch drive bay. The 5.25 inch drive bays feature toolless installation, whereas the 3.5 inch drive bay does not. If we then look further down, we can see room for three 3.5 inch hard drives. They come with a unique mounting system, wherein Lian Li includes rubber grommets and screws that you attach to the side of the hard drive and slide them into the bay. At the front of the case, you can see where the power supply gets mounted. This is a little bit unusual to mount the power supply at the front of the case, but it's clear that Lian Li did this to make the case as small as possible, while still allowing for full-size components. This is the other end of the ATX extension that I showed earlier. The power supply gets mounted on this foot here. You remove the front of the case and screw it in from the front. You can see an opening in the front of the aluminum here. This allows air from the power supply to be exhausted out of holes on the side of the case. This case comes with two included 120mm fans. The first is at the rear of the case, this is the one that I showed you earlier. It acts as an intake to the case, has an internal fan grill, and comes with a standard 3-pin motherboard connection, as well as a breakout to a regular Molex connector. At the front of the case, we can see the other 120mm fan. This one acts as an exhaust, taking hot air from inside the case and exhausting out the front. Since the front of the case is closed, there's actually ventilation on both the left and right side of the front panel where the hot air is exhausted. The bottom of the case is unfinished aluminum with four plastic feet. Because these feet are plastic and not rubber, they don't help a whole lot with anti-vibration on hard surfaces. I've now had the opportunity to assemble a full system inside of this case. In here I have a GTX 260 video card, an EVGA 750i motherboard, full-size ATX, and an 800 watt Ultra X3 power supply. All these components are full size and this computer is mainly going to serve as a home theater PC and media server. 
These components are definitely overpowered for what I'm doing with it, but since I'm in the process of upgrading my other computer right now, I thought it made sense to swap out the components from that one and use it to build this computer instead of buying all new components for this computer as well. As a result of this, I'm using all very large components in a very small case. I only ran into trouble with the uh, power supply here. It turned out to be just about a centimeter too long, and it went over the 24-pin ATX power connector. I was able to resolve this by jury-rigging and reassembling the power supply mounting system, as well as resoldering a whole new wire to attach to the back of the case for the 120 volt power. This took several hours and was really quite annoying, but it's very clear that this small size of this case is not designed for such a large power supply. Other than that, everything went in really nicely. The motherboard even came with a little wrench for installing the motherboard standoffs, which I thought was a nice addition, and it came with all the other hardware that I needed. In general, everything about this case is really quite awesome. The only issue I ran into is with the large power supply. All in all, I'd give this case a 4 out of 5 star rating.